Health Focus is brought to you by National Medical Stores, NMS, passionate about your life. Tonight we have Paul Orishaba. He's an ethnobotanist, but you can call him a wellness expert. And uh, today we are talking ulcers, something that is so common amongst us. You could be dealing with ulcers right now. Today we are going to talk to Paul about how we can manage ulcers using natural remedies or you know, the food that we have at our homes. Basically, what science says is that ulcers are like wounds, and Paul is going to explain much more about this, but they are wounds that we get on our stomach lining, and that's where I want Paul to start from. So the stomach lining, or our digestive tract, is covered by what we call a mucosal layer. It's more like mucus. So this mucus protects the stomach from uh, this strong acid that is produced in the stomach. And, of course, this stomach acid is uh, predominant. It's actually hydrochloric acid, and it's not, uh, it is strong enough to cut down food into digestible particles, but it can also digest flesh itself. So once someone has, uh, maybe produces too much acid, uh, or there is a reduction in, in, in production of what we call the bicarbonate ions, which, which are supposed to neutralize that acid, then this acid eats away the stomach lining. And of course there are other causes like you've said, but then once the mucosal layer has been eaten away and there is, uh, appears more like an erosion or a wound, what is created is what we call an ulcer. All right, so all that noted, what then is the cause for ulcers? Too much stomach uh, acid production, and then of course uh, which comes with also reduced production of carbonate ions, and then which leads to erosion of that stomach lining. But secondly, there is a bacterium called H. pylori. Uh, this has been implicated in many studies to be behind uh, the cause of uh, stomach ulcers. But also another thing, um, there is a usage of some drugs like aspirin, but also other drugs called NSAIDs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Like Are there foods that would actually exacerbate or, or even cause ulcers themselves? And how do we deal with these ones? Things like alcohol. I know a beer or two over the weekend uh, uh, will get so many uh, people running around, but if you already have ulcers, that is an, aggrav uh, an aggravation to ulcers. So you do not need to uh, maybe take alcohol. If you're taking, you start by reducing and maybe completely take it, take it away. But also coffee uh, has also been found to aggravate ulcers, uh, so too much caffeine can also be a problem. Um, another thing is oily and overspiced foods. Eh? And of course, people tend to say, when I have ulcer, I want to take milk, and I do not think it is a remedy for ulcers. What milk does is that it will just give you a temporary relief, but it's not doing anything. We also understand, and like you said, ulcers can mimic some other diseases. What is the best way to find out that what my pain is is ulcers. Someone can have maybe GAD and they think it is ulcers. They might just be having IBS and they think it is ulcers. So it is important that they carry out the necessary tests. Uh, this can be maybe H. pylori test, it can be in blood, uh, a blood test, or it can be a stool test, or it can even be breath test. Or they can do uh, what we call endoscopy, where they put a camera inside you and they can see what is happening there. So the signs, uh, number one is that some people tend to lose appetite, but others tend to increase appetite, especially when food comes in as a relief, feel like you want to vomit, others even go on and, and vomit, others on uh, advanced stages can even vomit blood, others can even pass out blood that has to, when the ulcers have, um, should I say, I don't want to use the word grow, no, they have, <laughs> like there's too much stomach ulcers. How do we treat and manage our ulcers, especially in our home setting? Number one is cabbage juice. If you went to the internet and asked someone, and uh, maybe asked a random question, uh, what can I use for ulcers, cabbage juice will come out predominantly. But number two, you also need uh, too much fiber, yeah? You need uh, fiber because the fiber now provides, uh, should I say, like food for the friendly bacteria, which then again 
uh, counteract that H. pylori because you have the good bacteria in your body, uh, in your gut, which does, of course, which supports digestion and other, issue, and other important issues in the stomach, but also count, it's a natural barrier for the H. pylori. Actually, even the acid that is produced in the stomach is a natural barrier for that, uh, for that um, H. pylori. But you can also have uh, the herbs that you can take at home. Number one is marshmallow. Marshmallow is common around here, and marshmallow has more like um, those cytoprotective properties that we we're talking about. It's, it has more like mucus. If you put it in water, it has more like a mucus kind of texture. So when you take it in, it then covers the eroded um, ulcers or the eroded wounds, and then it, cover, it, it covers and then allows for, for healing. And there are herbs which can be antibiotics, there are herbs which can be cytoprotective, there are herbs which can be antacids, and some of these are really uh, found at home um, in natural uh, drug stores, in wellness centers like at Nella here. You can find some of those herbs. So aloe vera, it is common around here, and you do not need the bitter part of aloe vera. You can just remove um, the outside. What you need is that gel inside. Yeah, it has all the phytochemicals or the phytonutrients that you require uh, for your ulcers. Also zinc, which is also uh, good uh, when it comes to healing your stomach lining. And you can find zinc in things like pumpkin seeds. But then also something, uh, you know, cultured foods like plain yogurt. Plain yogurt provides the friendly bacteria that we've already talked about, which then counteract uh, the, the H. pylori. All right, thank you very much, Paul. And uh, I hope you out there have learned one or two many things on how you can treat ulcers. My name is Walter Mwesije, and this was Health Focus this evening. National Medical Stores, NMS, passionate about your life. With support from the Ministry of Health, procure, store, and distribute essential medicine and medical supplies to all government health facilities in Uganda. <laughs>